G'day ice cream lovers, Steve Christensen's my name, the self-appointed headmaster here at Scoop School. Uh, nice to have you here at this episode of the podcast. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, thawing ice cream mix. Thawing, thaw, 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 thawing ice cream, thawing ice cream mix. Anyway, I try to put it in American and Australian sometimes. Thawing is one of those uh, words that I struggle with. Anyway. We appreciate our episode sponsor, which is Lockhead Vanilla. Again, based here in St. Louis, three generation company, making vanilla extracts and flavors for three generations. Uh, Ask one of the boys, John or George Lockhead, to talk to you about Angus Tullock Lockhead, the Scottish immigrant that came to America and started this uh, bohemoth of a vanilla company, Lockhead Vanilla, L-O-C-H-H-E-A-D, LockheadVanilla.com. Thank you, lads, for your episode sponsorship. Now, we're talking in this video about thawing ice cream mix. And in a previous video, we spoke a little bit about uh, the fact that you can actually, when you get your mix, you can put it in the freezer and it's good for up to 12 months under certain circumstances. Again, go back to that mix company, talk to them about what are the best uh, ways in order to you know, keep that mix as good as it can be. But what do you do when you've got a bag of mix like this that's frozen solid, chocolate, vanilla, whether it's soft serve, custard, premium ice cream, gelato, what's the best way to thaw that mix? Well, here's the thing. I know and I've been in situations, both in my stores and other ice cream stores that I consult with, that they've run out of mix, they go to the freezer, and they've got two bags of mix there, and we need to thaw that as fast as we can. Now really, most health departments will say that you really should not be putting that in a bath of hot water. Does it happen? Sure, I've seen it happen. Should it happen? Probably not. Because what happens is you've got dairy in this product that's already been homogenized and it's already been pasteurized. So what you're doing when you add more heat to it is you increase the multiplication of the bacteria that's already in that mix. So you don't want to add extra heat if you don't have to. The ultimate way to thaw a bag of mix is to basically take it from its frozen state, put it in a regular refrigerator, and generally two or three days, that mix will be liquefied and ready to go. That is the ultimate. Now that requires a little bit of planning. You need to have a look at how much mix you've got in the cooler, how much mix you've got in the freezer, how much mix you might have in your soft serve custom machine or what you need for your batch freezer, and kind of have a little bit more of a a process as to when you need to pull this mix out to put it in the uh, refrigerator. Maybe there's a stock level that it gets down to 10 bags. Time to rotate that through, first in, first out, move it forward, bring some mix out of here, put it back uh, into the refrigerator. I have seen people use a better way than putting it in hot water, is basically putting it in cold water or tepid water overnight. It's not adding a lot more heat to it, But again, you don't have constant refrigeration, and that's what many ice cream mix manufacturers want you to keep this mix in, to keep it as fresh as it can be, a constantly refrigerated process. So, best practice, take it out of the freezer, put it into your cooler, walk-in cooler, reach-in cooler, two or three days, fully thawed. Uh, For other options, I would definitely go back to your mix supplier. So, um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the ice cream business, You want to get into the ice cream business? Hey, Scoop School is the way to go. Scoopschool.com, have a look at all of the information we have there. Again, a lot of free video content here on our YouTube channel and our podcast. And thank you again for our episode sponsor, Lockhead Vanilla. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next episode.